This episode of Let's Talk Nerd is brought to you by the guys at SuperhumanHero.com. Check them out for all your anime, gaming, and comic book swag related needs. Use discount code Let's Talk Nerd for 15% off your entire purchase. And now, let's get back to that sweet Let's Talk Nerd video. Boop -a -doop. Hey, what's up guys? Mike here with Let's Talk Nerd, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Asus VG245 gaming monitor. Now this monitor is for your PC and console gaming needs. It has an excellent feature set that I'm going to tell you all about in this video. So let's get down into the details. Okay. All right, so to touch on the features and selling points of this monitor, just to give you an overview starting out, it is a 24-inch full HD 1080p. It has one millisecond response time, dual HDMI input, free sync support with a refresh rate of 75 hertz, and Visa mountable. All right, let's talk about some of the physical aspects of the monitor before we get into some of the feature set and get all that technical stuff. Overall, I think the aesthetic of it is very gamer-oriented. Asus has done an incredible job of uh, making it look and feel like a gaming monitor. The stand itself is very futuristic. It's got a nice design to it. I like the base of it. Uh, it does have some cable management in the middle. Uh, I don't actually use the stand itself because I have a Visa mount for it, but uh, if I didn't have that, like the stand would probably be the best stand out of all my monitors. I'll just, I'll just say that. The design on the back has some circuits, makes it feel like all technical and gaming oriented. It's pretty nice. You know, Asus is always in search of incredible, and I think they found it with the design of this monitor. Adjustability wise, the monitor does offer a range of motion when using the stand itself. Uh, first off, you get a 90 degree swivel from either side. It also offers a tilt adjustment, 33 degrees up, as you can see here, and negative five degrees if you're, if you're going in towards the stand itself. I don't know, I guess if you're standing up using a standing desk, this is pretty helpful. I, I don't ever use anything like that. Um, but you also have height adjustment from zero to 130 millimeters, which is about five inches up and down. Um, so you have that option available to you. The one, issue that I have here is the is the uh, pivot. You have a 90 degree pivot, but you have to tilt it to get it to actually go into, um, you know, portrait mode. Um, so keep that in mind when using this monitor. It's a little bit of a, an annoyance. Input wise, you have two audio jacks, a VGA port, and two HDMI ports, and then the, and the power port. Okay guys, so this is probably my favorite part of the monitor. Um, I know it's probably silly. You're probably thinking I'm joking, but it's totally for real. So as you can see, there are four buttons, and these are located on the back right of the monitor in a very convenient place. Um, but you'll see at the top, and then I'm fondling here, is a little analog stick, and that allows you to do all the other stuff that the buttons do, but it's a lot easier to use. So I'm going to show you the menu uh, using this analog stick. It also can click as well. It's very satisfying. When clicking the button, it'll bring up the menu in the bottom right of the monitor itself, and you can go through the settings here. Um, I'm not going to go too technical with what settings to use and things like that. I'll include a guide that I found on the internet in the description. You can use that to kind of tune it uh, if you do decide to get this, or you can go off the settings that I have. I did adjust it um, off of the presets. There are a few different gaming presets. They have a racing mode, FPS, RPG. Uh, I found that the racing mode gave me the best settings to start with, and then I kind of adjust it from there. Um, I highly recommend changing the vivid pixel, as you can see in that menu, to 100%. They gave me the best picture quality. It really made a huge difference from the default. Um, you can also change the inputs from the menu. You can do quite a bit with this menu, and it's more so than I've seen with any other monitor that I've had. Um, so if you go to the Game Plus mode, which is another kind of feature that ASUS is talking about here, you can turn on the FPS counter. You can put a crosshair on to the screen that I'll show you here shortly, uh, which is kind of crazy because it like works. I don't know exactly how it works, but it does work. I don't know exactly how that works because it kind of, I mean, it lines up kind of perfectly as you can see here. I don't know what I would really need to use it for, 
Um, but it is a pretty cool feature. It's neat that they have it. Uh, it is kind of annoying, as you can see here. I'm showing a cutscene. It, it stays persistent no matter what you do. Um, so that's kind of an inconvenience, I guess. If you haven't noticed why I play this gameplay in the cutscene is that the sound from the video is actually me recording from the monitor itself. It has built-in speakers. I think they sound really great for what the monitor itself is. Uh, it's not like surround sound quality, but it is pretty nice to have um, for a monitor. Okay, so let's kind of wrap things up here. We'll talk about the last couple features that I want to touch on that I feel that you need to know about this monitor. Uh, one of those being the black levels, the blackness that you see on the monitor itself. So using this website, as you can see in the video here, uh, there are varying levels of blackness that shows up with the background being completely black. Um, so the goal is to be able to discern each level of blackness. Um, I feel the monitor, you can do that. You can plainly see here the different levels. You can discern each individual level of it. So in my opinion, the black levels are good. Uh, I'm not really too crazy about this. I don't really go nuts about the black levels. You may find that this isn't suitable for you. I'm not really sure what... Um, else you could be wanting there, but that's, that's, that's it. I showed you. Um, I feel like somebody's going to ask about that. So I just wanted to make sure that's in the video and that you guys saw the blackness of it all. The other thing that we'll talk about is the free sync technologies. This is a big deal, um, for you AMD graphics card people, um, myself included. Um, I am a big, big, big supporter of free sync technology. I love AMD. Uh, I, I would, I guess I'll call myself a fanboy of AMD. Um, I just feel like the whole FreeSync technology is super valuable in helping with screen tearing. And that's ultimately what FreeSync is. It's to help eliminate screen tearing on a hardware level with the monitor and has like its own built-in software to help that outside of the computer. You can use another technology in gaming that most games nowadays have a setting in it. It's called VSync. It does something similar, but it's more software based and doesn't always work 100%. Whereas the FreeSync and uh, the alternative, if you're a NVIDIA graphics card user, G-Sync, uh, which you'll have to buy a different monitor for because this doesn't support that at all, but it eliminates the screen tearing on a hardware level. It doesn't, use the, it doesn't utilize the computer to do it. Um, so that's super big. Uh, I'll show you just kind of like a quick video with VSync on bottom and FreeSync on top. This is an actual representation of what the monitor can do. Pretty much all monitors, you know, look the same if you have FreeSync on. Uh, I just can't really display that for you in a video. Um, the final feature we'll talk about is the input latency. So this monitor offers a one millisecond response time uh, from the input that you put into it. So like if you're firing on your controller, it's pretty much instant on the screen. Whereas if you had a TV that had maybe a five millisecond response time, there's gonna be a lot more delay in getting your shot to show up on the screen. And this definitely helps with games like Halo, Call of Duty, fast paced FPS games. Um, so it's pretty valuable if you're like a competitive gamer, I would highly recommend something like that. Um, this monitor for that feature is relatively cheap compared to other big brand monitors like BenQ, or I think they're called Zowie now, um, that offer that one millisecond competitive gaming edge. Uh, Asus has its own technology for fast input latency thing. I don't really know what that entirely means, but all you need to know is that it's one millisecond input and it works great for FPS gaming. I'll include a video in the description of Asus kind of doing a side-by-side -side comparison between a TV with a higher input and this monitor itself. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. That is the feature set. So just kind of going down the list, it is a 24-inch full HD 1080p gaming monitor, 75 hertz refresh rate with free sync technology to help with that screen tearing, one millisecond response time, a really great design, pretty solid stand. Um, with cable management in it, uh, full range of adjustability and things like that. It's Visa mountable, which is how I use it. Um, I highly recommend using a mount if you can do it. It's just so much better not having to stand on your desk and taking up that space. Um, has great sound. It has speakers built into it, which I really like. Has some nice buttons. Um, so I just ultimately feel like this monitor is a pretty good investment for what it is. On Amazon right now, you can get it for $170. 
um, that's relatively cheap for 24 inch 1080p gaming monitor with the feature set that this includes. Um, you can use it for your PC and console gaming needs. Overall, my verdict is it's very good for what it is. It's not 4K or anything like that, but for the price point and the feature set that it includes, I think it's worth buying. So my say is to get it. So if you're looking for a new monitor and you don't want to go to the 4K jump, get this monitor. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope it's been informative. I hope that if you were looking for a new monitor that I helped you out in that. Uh, so again, I highly recommend it. It's great for console and PC gaming. Um, there is a Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you do decide to buy it, it would be awesome if you could help support the channel. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from Let's Talk Nerd. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this video, and we'll see you next time.